Hi everyone, welcome back to Jojo Does Things, the show where I do things. My name is Josiah, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about cookies. So as I said, today we're talking about cookies. But first, what is a cookie? A well, to answer my question, a cookie is a dessert, usually in the form of a circle made up of dough and other things, I guess. that That's the real recipe, don't look it up. Uh, but they come in many shapes, sizes, textures, tastes, many different forms. And some have chunks of stuff in them, some have nuts in them, some have oatmeal, some are made of oatmeal with raisins in them, and whoever made that, um, should not have a good day today. But, you know. And I've gone around to many people who enjoy cookies themselves, and have asked them what their favorite type of cookie is. What they would eat, like, if they really were in the mood for a cookie. And so some answers I got were chocolate chip, of course, some like oatmeal, cookies not like raisins in them just like oatmeal like you know it's made of oatmeal I respect that some like the uh, peanut butter cookies which are pretty good I gotta say but the most common answer I got was the chocolate chip cookie everyone I asked chocolate chip cookie what's your favorite cookie chocolate chip cookie what hey you over there what's your favorite type of cookie chocolate chip cookie it's just everyone's favorite type of cookie for some reason. I don't know why. I do, oh wait, I do know why. It's because they're friggin' delicious. They taste great. And they're amazing. In any shape and size. Most of the time. But it just tastes great all around. In fact, you know what? Top five chocolate chip cookie list. Uh, number five. Uh, I know this barely counts, but uh, cho uh, cookie dough. I know it barely counts. Because it's not even really a cookie, it's dough. But, leave me alone. It tastes great. It makes, when you can just get a tub of it when you're sad. You eat all of it. You're sad, but you're fatter now. You know, it's great. Love it. 10 out of 10. Uh, coming in at number 4, uh, homemade cookies. Uh, my mom makes homemade cookies sometimes, and they're really great. Uh, mom, if you're watching this, um, hi. Hi. Uh, thanks for making really great cookies. I, I love you. Thanks, Mom. Number three, uh, back to nature cookies. They're a cookie. It's, like, really hard and crunchy, but it's really good. They're, like, boxed cookies, by the way. Like, chocolate, like, kind of like a, I'm trying to think of it. Kind of like a Chips Ahoy, maybe. You get them at the store. They're great. Although, if you're trying to look for one in a... In my, in my local area, uh, you might have some trouble because apparently they're sold out everywhere and I can't eat them and I'm really sad. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sad that like all gone, but you know, I'll find others. Like number two, the Publix cookie. You just buy like a carton, I guess. Is that what it's called? Like a little container of like, co like a dozen cookies. It tastes great. It's soft. It's chewy. It's... Well, it's not chewy. It's more tender, I'd guess. But it tastes really good. And if you're under the age of 12 or you're really good at lying, uh, you can get one cookie for free at the deli. So, yeah. Um, life hack. Lie about your age to get free cookies. Uh, it's a good life hack. You should do that. But coming in at number one, off the top of my head, what is the my favorite cookie? I'd have to say Chick-fil-A cookie. Chick-fil-A cookies are just something else. You know why? Because they go somewhere where no cookie has gone before. Into both the cold camp and the hot camp. What do I mean by that nonsense? Well, what I mean by that is that some cookies taste better when they're cold. It enhances the chocolate. It just adds a little more texture to them. It tastes good. Some, some cookies taste better when they're hot. They're like gooey and chewy. They melt in your mouth. They're tender. It's great. The Chick-fil-A cookie, you can freeze it over or have it when it's hot. It tastes good in both situations. In fact, it doesn't taste good. It tastes the best. And that's why it's number one on my tier list. But, this list was made up right off the spot. 
like out of my head, a six year old head, a brain. I'm good at grammar. But if you went back in time to around, um, insert year here, to when I was 10 years old, I would probably, and you asked me, hey, hey there, Josiah, I don't know why, uh, what's your favorite type of cookie? I would look at you because you, uh, you're a random stranger who knows my name. That's pretty weird. I'm calling the cops. But if you got past that, I would probably say the Moe's Southwest Grill Chocolate Chump Cookie. What do I mean by that? Well, first, let's get into the Moe's Southwest Grill culture. Moe's is a is a fast food restaurant in style with like Chipotle. You like you go down the line, you get like Mexican food. Well, not Mexican, Southwest food. Uh, is it racist to call it Mexican? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, I don't know. But they had. But it's just like a Chipotle. I've already said this. I'm sorry. But it's it's like a Chipotle, but it's like ten times better in every way, and I love it. It's got it when well back in the day when I was like ten, it had like a rock star vibe to it. Like everything was like rock and roll themed. They'd play rock and roll music. All the menu items were references to eighties move eighties and nineties movies like John Coxtonian and the First Rule of Chicken Club. Those were names of actual menu items they had, which, for like a brand back then, or like for something now, to call, to have it named, to have your menu items named after stuff, like from like 80s movies, that's like bonkers. No one would do that nowadays at like a fast food corporate restaurant. But, and it had so much charm to it, and I loved it. But ever since 2018, they did something awful. And they removed one of my only the only things I ate there, the or, the original white meat chicken. Now what? Let me set you in on a little. Let me set a little stage. When I started eating there, when I was like really young, uh, I only ate the cheese quesadilla and nothing else. And of course, I ate the cookie with it, which tasted great. The cookie was soft. It had a good chocolatey flavor. It was great. But anyways, that's off topic. Uh, there, I only ate the cheese quesadilla. After a while, I decided to take a leap of faith and try the liquid cheese that I thought was gross. I was very wrong. Uh, it tasted great. Their queso is just out of this world. It is something else compared to other places that try to do queso. They just don't hold up. The most queso is just on a different level. It is great. And of course, I dipped cheese quesadilla into queso only cheese which dipping that's like a it's like gr dipping a grilled cheese into like queso it's why would you do that it's gross but 10 year old me didn't care i loved it and eventually i decided to take another leap of faith and try the original white meat chicken and it was delicious i loved it and eventually, I, I learned to not only get quesadillas, but also burritos with only chicken and cheese in them. Am I crazy? Maybe a little bit. Do I care? No. It tasted great. Why should I care? Enjoy things. But Moe's corporate saw me enjoying things, and they said, You know what? Despite the fact they literally go here every single week, we're going to take away their favorite menu item, because screw them. And after this happened, most started to go undergo some changes, per se. They stopped uh, getting the rock theme. They played normal pop music. Blah. Uh, the, all the names of the menu items started to disappear in place of such creative names as burrito and quesadilla. You know? And the walls, instead of being plastered with cool art images of musical, like, burrito items, it started to be with uh, quotes from what seemed to be a Twitter, and had as much charm as a Grubhub ad. You know the one. But, despite all this, we still went there, because who could be a classic cheese quesadilla? Although, you can't just take away chicken from a restaurant and just... Like, expect people not to get, like, m angry, like, ab absolute rage 
Instead, they replaced the chicken with something called mojo chicken. It's not white. It's not white meat chicken. It's not good. It doesn't taste good. It wasn't good. It probably was good. I just didn't like it compared to the white meat chicken, and I was angry. But eventually, they learned their ways and brought back the white meat chicken. Is it because of a, peti a petition on petition.org calling them to bring back the white meat chicken? No, because it didn't get enough members. Is it because of my personal complaints every time we went there that the white meat chicken was gone and that somehow got to corporate? Possibility. Was it because people on Twitter just got really angry at them for getting rid of it? Probably. That's probably the most logical answer. And sales were going down or something. Something business, 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 like talk. But one thing that didn't change was this. The Moe's Chocolate Chunk Cookie. This went from being a soft delicacy of chocolatey goodness to something that's tough and crunchy and barely resembles the legacy of the Moe's cookie. If this was on a tier list, this would be an F minus tier. The lowest of the low. Horrible. But you know what? I just can't sit here and talk about how bad this is. I think I have to show it to you. So I think it's time for a little bit of classic JoJo time. You know what it is? It's time for some destruction. So here I am again on the ground, and I just wanna go over again how angry I am about this. This cookie was a delicacy, a childlike delicacy. And it tasted great and I loved it. Thank you, dog. Uh, sorry about that. Dog is angry about my YouTube channel. It wants me to fail. Curse you, dog. But anyways, uh, this cookie was a delicacy to me. It tasted great. It was soft. It was chocolatey. It was amazing. They changed it to uh, something that was just not resembled it at all. It was not even the same type of cookie. And I think somewhere they decided, you know what? We, we realize our mistakes. Let's go back and change it. And you know what they did? They changed it. Every single week. And you know what they did every single week? It did not taste the same. It was different, at least in my head. It was different. For all I know, it could have been the exact same cookie, but it just tasted different. It wasn't even the same. It just tasted like just not good at all. And I think we need to, to destroy it. But... You know what? I'm going to give Moe's a chance. We're going to open this cookie, and we're going to see if it actually tastes good. Here's the cookie. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. But let's... Maybe if it tastes good, I won't destroy it, and I'll forgive Moe's. But for all I know, I doubt that. Nope, still tastes awful. Die, cookie. Destroy. Die. Destroy. Destroy. We do not need you on this earth. Release. Be released. Into the, the depths of hell. Die. Be gone. I think that's destroyed enough. I'll vacuum it up later. In conclusion, um, wait, what am I doing? Don't, don't take out your anger on, this isn't even gonna do anything. Cook, Moses is gonna look at this and be like, wow, this cookie must be really bad. We need to change it back. They're, they're not gonna do anything. Don't, don't take out your anger for a company by destroying a cookie. What is wrong with you? Sorry about that, folks. Had some, uh, uh technical difficulties there, but, uh, this is the end of the video. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching the whole thing. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a nice comment. If you didn't like it, maybe put a dislike, call me a couple slurs in the comment, you know how it is, you know how that goes. But uh, if you want to stay notified of when I make this content, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and put that bell to all. It'll tell you when I make uh, videos, maybe do a live stream, make a premiere, and I think story the shorts now. Uh, Jojo put that there, uh, if it's true or not. Good answer. But, uh, yeah. Uh, also, it is currently, um, as of uploading this, I, th I believe, December 24th. And tomorrow, Christmas! Yay! If you don't celebrate Christmas, um, happy... Insert holiday here. ...to you. And if you do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. But yeah, this is the end of the video. So, uh, yeah. I'll be seeing y'all next time. But Who could that be? Hello? Uh-oh. Yeah! Ah!